that spares the blood of many Stop innocent it, you. on his hand. Something I can assist with? All the best. Clues down! Catch some wind! Crowd on all the sail we have! Reese the topsails and gallant! Ease the spanker! Hold down! Loose all! Let's... A great disappointment you are, Thatch. His mind's made up to stay, he says. It's a sodding. And hang all of you lot that follow this sorry bastard into obscurity. Come call me home, Kenway. And your faith in me is kind. But with Nassau done in, I feel I'm finished. I'm not of the same mind, mate. But I won't begrudge you the state of yours. You still looking for that sage fellow? Aye. Taking a prize a month back, I heard a man named Roberts was working a slave ship called the Princess. Might want to see about it. The Princess. Cheers, Thatch. Well, don't sit there like a barrel of wet fish. We're celebrating my retirement. <laughs> Uncork this man's breakfast! Save us a few bottles, eh? Where's it, lad? Left 
Cannon, you out here? Jenkins, what's the news? Who was that? You certainly didn't bring some of those samurais in tow, Jenkins. Look sharp. Stevens, make certain there's no surprises. Aye, sir. Secure the other side, and watch the fire. Aye. into his gullet before any word left his lips. Anybody see you? Don't think so, sir. But I reckon Kenway suspects something. He don't miss much. Tell me about the beat. A fair gathering, sir. Most too drunk to stand. That will suit our purpose. Tell me about that what sort of man is he? It's Thatch, sir. At least that's what he calls himself. But he's a mad bugger, he is. Cracked as a glass teapot, sir. Details now. Stop talking in gibberish. Well, sir, he likes his drink, for instance. Only he makes them queer. Takes the usual rum from it, fills it with half a weight of gunpowder to top it off. Did I hear you were right? He drinks gunpowder? Aye, sir. Just for show. And only last week, he rounded up a score of his crew and bade us sit in the hold of his shit while he burnt off sulfur and other sickening minerals. We just sat there like it was one of a million pits of hell and nothing less ordinary. Good God! What the hell for? Like to test his crew is all. Tease out their fitness and what. Of course, it always turned out he was the fittest of the lot. I've better things to do. But for a moment, I die there. Bloody savages. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of them. Come on. It's time. Quickly, send the signal. And remember always... What the devil?
death! I'll cleave you lengthwise, maggots! How you be doing, Edward Malad? I'll not fall here today, maggots! Come at me! Can you find free, lad? Can you make it clear? <laughs> Here's the path to perdition! What a fat, sir. Did he fall? Captain? He drinks damnation. Something I can help you with? Later, no doubt. Want to be left in peace, my friend? Captain's home. Loose and trim too! More sail! All sail! The thatch has been topped. Fuck's sake. He was outnumbered. 
couldn't reach him. Devil damn the man he was faced, but his heart was divided. It's hard to let go of the life you know best. Uh, my own idiot father liked to brag about how he meant to purchase a ship of his own. I'll get a privateering contract, Charlie. Your old dad will be a captain. Drowned in a whiskey bottle before he ever left show. Right, Kenway. I've been musing on this plan of yours, this observatory you're always going on about. How do we know it exists? We find a slave ship called the Princess. Aboard to be a man called Roberts. He can lead us to it. Well, them slavers work for the Royal African Company. Find one of their ships and start asking some questions. What's our course, Captain? We're looking for slave ships. Any that work for the Royal African Company. You don't mean to traffic human cargo now, do you? No, Jesus, Annie. You know me better than that. We're only after information. Looking to find where the Princess docks in her spare time. The Princess? A slave ship? Right. Blackbeard told me there's a good chance we'd find a sage aboard her. All sail! She'll take it! Aloft, lad! Captain, Vin's just sunk a merchant schooner. Damn! Can't that animal stay the course we agreed to? Crowd on every inch of sail! Topsail's gallant! Loose and trim! Don't sink that slaver ship, can we? There's hundreds of innocent men aboard. I know, I know. Captain, the slaver ship is running! Damn fool! I'll get us in close. Off target! Get them along! Douse all sail! Fire! Muzzle them! Let out some sail! Damn that Captain Vin! He's unloading everything he has! He'll sink it if he's not careful. We'll get closer. Ready to fire! Fire! Taking us close. Lay aboard, 
boys! Fast as you are! All clear! Pull away! Chase those bastards down, Kenway. I'll murder the men who stole my skin. Keep calm, mate. Remember what we're at. Keep watching the force, Captain. Those cannons have a long reach. Ready to fire, sir! We're going over. Find the captain. Come on, me roysters. You scare me back at brains. Guns and steel aren't so louder than sticks and spittle, vein. That's more than enough of all that. Just find the captain. This captain claims the princess sails out of Kingston every few months. All right. We'll set a course. You made ash of my sails and rigging, jackanapes. You owe me a share. Oh! Oh, damn it, Vane! Oh, Charles, oh. what a surly devil you are. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Oh, but it's my mandate to fuck with you, Charles. Oh. Lads! Ah, see, oh. the boys and I had a bit of counsel while you were wasting time with this slot. And, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I'll cut you another cut, Tracer! <laughs> this one I figure I might sell for a, a tenner down in Kingston, but uh, with you two grog blossoms, I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Tie them up! Cast them off. I'll gut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up! I'll tear out your organs and string your bloody loot with them! Stop your goddamn howling vein! There's no bloody use! Well, well! The fears of Edward Kenway speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder! Shut your gob!
Keep still now. I'll take these oysters you've ordered. You mad sap. This island's crawling with food. If only you'd care to look for it. Yeah, I am looking, louts. Found some just here. <laughs> Don't! Don't come following now. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. Wretched fool. Come, let us drink it while we have breath. Let us drink it after death. And he that will his help deny. Down among the dead men. Down among the dead men. Down, 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 down. Down among the dead men. Let's him Go dance with the fishermen and their dories, Kenway! This island's mine! Come at me and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, Kenway! I'll be damned if I let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker. Now let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God! I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering! Now stay back! Vain! Face me, man! I said not to follow! Jesus, you've lost your head, man! It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenados. Listen, Vane. 
We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I made so. Not dead yet. Here. No escaping me. Bloody rags will be all that's left of you, can't we? I'll blow you to hell! Stories goes into this mess, Kenway. And I'll be damned if I let you drag me into another. You keep this up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane. Bloody try, by all means. I see you coming, Kerr. I see you plain and clear. Shall we all that's left of you, 
Boy, you only done half a fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe. You just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanker. I ain't coming soon. Stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my break from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other men who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other men? Haughty sailor in plain rags. And a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. I grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does a crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close.
You alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. There'll be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind these blood samples we're taking? Torres tells me that blood is required for the observatory to properly function. How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the king's blood to do so. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me, then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. As have I, Captain Hornigold, as will all Templars. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our samples to a Templar safe house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. 
A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. It's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? God give good rest to the souls of those sailors. We're all brothers, are we not? Grandmaster, welcome. Buenas noches. What have you learned? The princess was taken by piracy a week ago. And so far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. It is something else. What measures are we taking to recover the princess from these pirates? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage's capture. Hmm. What of the sage's present location? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? By God. The winds do not favor that one. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? Captain, I asked you to divest yourself of that sick institution. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to revolt. But, enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow on. Naturally. Efficiently. A fair point, Grandmaster. Remind me, where in Africa are we looking? Principe, sir, a small island. We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real, something beyond yourself. You're in my sight, sweetheart! Clear 
shot. All right, where do you think you're going? What's our course, Captain? Principe, Quartermaster. We're sailing for the coast of Africa. Find Roberts. Don't stay long. The crew's getting restless on the
Captain Kenway. Yet another dire situation, Roberts. We really must stop meeting like this. Stop tailing me and your wish had come true. There's no need for this. You know I'm as good as my word. Our Captain Howell was killed today in a Portuguese ambush. Ed Strong, fool. I warned him not to go ashore. It was orchestrated by the Templars, Burgess and Cockrum. The same sort that took you to Havana. Ah. I see now there is no escaping the Templars' attention, is there? I suppose it is time to fight back. I do like the sound of that. And I know just how I'll do it. But these men, Burgess and Cockrum, they cannot be allowed to leave with word of my escape. They won't. Count on it. If you spot any men from my crew, do them some kindness and send them here. I'll do all I can.
There's only what can carry maggots. We're not waiting on no one. Put the master in that bottle or we're leaving you behind. yourselves and haul your asses to port. We're weighing anchor. Up with your mongrel. Lend the bows in a hand. There's only what you can carry, maggots. We're not waiting on no one. yourselves and haul your ass to support. We're weighing anchor. You done us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully. Just like Hornigold said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the Templars who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? In honest service, there are thin commons, low wages and hard labor. 
Yet, as gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. So what man with a sensible mind would choose the former life when the only hazard we pirates run is a sour look from those without strength or splendor? Ah. Now, I have been among you six weeks, and in that time, I have adopted your outlook as my own, and with so fierce a conviction that it may frighten you to see your passions reflected from me in so stark a light. But, if it's a captain you see in me now, I then, I'll be your bloody captain. Yeah! For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! Yeah! Oh. You fatten with your persistence. I'm looking for the observatory. Folks say you're the only man that can find it. Folks are correct. Despite my distaste for your eagerness, I see in you a touch of untested genius. I'm Bartholomew Roberts. Edward. I have no secrets to share with you now. But if you'll lend me your aid, in two months' time west of the Leeward Islands, well, it's there you'll get some answers, I promise you. Funny that. With scurvy, the fix is more pleasant than the cause. When you catch a dose from a horn, must treat it with quicksilver. You're fonder of getting the disease than you are of curing it. Something biting at you. Oh, all men desire to live by a code or a creed, yes? Yet when pressed, most defer to their instincts rather than the laws that bite. What is the appeal of a creed if it does not yoke all men to like behavior? Might make a man feel like he belongs to something. What's your answer? Oh, that all men are sheep. That an old wolf like me deserves every ounce of blood he draws. Sail to this location. Bring only those you trust. Bless you, bless you, if you be fit to take us off this cursed isle.
catch some wind. Crowd on all the Reef in all tops. Party now, Mitrums. I crowd it all on. Lust. Captain Kenway, shall we use your ship for this next scheme or mine? I'd first hear the details before deciding. Oh, it's a small gambit. This fount of information has just told me that a nearby galleon contains the treasure I seek. For his sake, I hope he's right. You've thought this plan through? Indeed. And using this man will acquire a Portuguese flag, which will get us as close to our target as possible. It's a very simple idea, if you follow my orders to the letter. The jackdaw, then. Excellent. We're underway, Roberts. So what's your plan? The flagship of this fleet is transporting a valuable treasure in a large chest. Crystal files filled with blood. You may remember. We're chasing drams of blood. Is that all? I asked you to follow my instructions to the letter, Captain. But I did not give you leave to question why. I want those blood files intact. And if that does not happen, we part as enemies. Do you understand? I'll try to buy. More sail. All we've got. Blue up, short and sail. Trim to catch the wind. Ease the trail, loose tops. Loose the stunsels. There's the thing for us, Captain. You see that ship here? We'll need its flag for this ruse to work. If I can steal their flag without disturbing so much as a flea, I'll do it. By all means, try. Come is a flag, Tom. Oh, so we're good, so we're good. And que Deus abençoe ao rei Dom João. Que Deus o guarde e proteja, senhor. Como se encontra nesta noite tão formosa? Muito bem, muito bem, obrigado. É, só um pequeno passeio por entre a cronosa, porque eles estão todos aí em boa forma. Está tudo em ordem por este lado? Sim, senhor! Tudo em ordem, senhor! Estamos apenas à espera que o nosso navio almirante seja reabastecido antes de zarpar-me. Ah! Imbecil! Não pode escapar! Prazer falar consigo, jovem. Entregue os meus cumprimentos ao seu capitão. Certo, senhor. Ele de momento está a dormir. Vai lá. É uma oportunidade para falar consigo. É uma pena. Até à próxima. E que Deus vos abençoe.
Sorry. You got the flag? Aye. And we're flying it now. This should do nicely. I'll keep my distance. Slow and steady. Aye. The flag we stole won't protect us from eyes that pry too long. Por favor, senhor. Implore-lhe que considere aquilo que está prestes a fazer. Now é possível. What's he whinging about? He's not whinging. He's a static. <laughs> Loose the stunts. Come off the wind, someone. Loose the stunts. Flew up, short and sail. Up ahead! They are unloading something from that ship! Could that be our prize? Perhaps you should go ashore, Captain Kenway. Find that chest, and if it contains the prize I seek, bring it you. We'll tell this lot where a ship right with me, but they'll not come near their left. Adbor! Podemos falar com o capitão do navio! sobre um espanhol que veio visitar o nosso almirante. Cá para mim, era uma traição. Guerra. A peste? O capitão daquele brinco diz que estão afetados pela peste. A verdade é que nos faz bem à disciplina. Um convés deve ser organizado, de tão limpo como o rabo de uma baleia. Por isso é o rancor que o capitão nos coloca a esfregá-lo. É senso comum. Tu não podes ter... The chest they hauled ashore was full of empty vials. Where's our Portuguese captain? He had outlived his usefulness. Where is he? Sleeping soundly at the bottom of the sea. How many men must we kill for a simple prize? As many as drift into our path. Look on that, Captain. Men who ran the same gauntlet and lost their way. We're made of sterner stuff, Addy. How often have those been a sailor's last words, I wonder?
Blew up, short and sane. More sail, all we've got. Ease the trail, ease the top. Bring it through, catch the wind. More sail, all we've got. Our treasure must be aboard that galleon. Why don't you take the ship itself and save us a bit of time? Aye, that's the way I play it. I can bring the jackdaw close up, but those lookouts will be a problem. Well spotted. I'll clear them off first. Está a fazer o tour nesta noite? Ou foste tu ontem? been spotted. Took them long enough. To court us all, man the cannons. Every last hand. On your command, Captain. Let's hear the roar of this beast. Give me some speed. Fire! 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 Fire!
On your mark, come in! Fire! This is all exposed. Take the shots up. Oh, come on! Hit the bastards! Trim the yards off the wind! Loose and trim too! to the wind. Goes the Royals, Tom! Get the veins free! Here's my prize. Ah, the Templars have been busy, I see. Lawrence Prince's blood. Useless now. Woods Rogers, Ben Hornigold, even Torres himself. Small quantities kept for a special purpose. You must take me to the observatory, Roberts. I need to know what it is. To what end, eh? Will you sell it from under my nose? Or work with me and use it to bolster our game? Whatever improves my lot in life. How ridiculous. A merry life and a short one, that's my motto. It's all the optimism I can muster. All right, Captain Kenway. You've earned a look. We're moments away from the grandest prize of all. I feel nothing but a hot wind in my ears, Captain. Come on, man. When we take this treasure, we'll be set for life, all of us. Ten times over. As you wish. Ahoy, Roberts. We'll cast anchor and meet ashore. You were followed, Captain Kenway. How long for, I wonder? It's Hornigold! Burn and flay that turncoat. Deal with your old friend in haste, Captain, before I regret my favor to you. Captain, think carefully about what you mean to do here. What are you grousing about, Ade? It's Ben Hornigold, come to kill us out there. Aye, and the traitor needs to die. But what then? Can you say with certainty? That you deserve the observatory more than he and his Templars? No, I can't, and I don't care to try. But if you've a better idea, by all means, tell me. Forget walking with Roberts. Tell the assassins. Bring them here, and let them protect this place. Aye, I'll bring them here. If they're willing to pay me a good sum for it. Ah. We'll have a hard fight if Hornigold draws us any deeper into this fog. We're nearing the Devil's Backbone. You mean them crags that look like the backbone of a beast? Aye. El Espinazo del Diablo, the Spaniards call it. Shorten sail! Kill off the squall! Throw the mizzen tops! Loose all and trim sharp to the wind! 
Ride the wind! Hostile warship closing! Frigates! Royal bloody navy! Seems to be alone, sir! There's Hornigo. Getting close. will be coming back.
come where you are. Hold mine. Hold you. Keep pace till he's gone. Some mighty pissed poor assailants back there, lads. And if we live out this day, by God, I'm flaying every last bitch of you. Stop, I want to talk right. to you. Steady up. And keep your backs together, lads. This fight ain't over. We just have to pull the trigger. He's China. Ah, honey. He's mine. I got a shot. shot. Just have to pull the trigger. Oh, I've got a lovely clear right. shot. Stop it. I know this bastard, and I've seen what he can do. He'll be after. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> you could have been a man who stood for something. But you've a killer's heart now. With nothing but metal to show for all your blunders. A damn sight better than you, Ben. The heart of a traitor who thinks himself better than his mates. Aye, and proven true. What have you done since Nassau fell, huh? Nothing but murder and mayhem. You threw in with the very kind we once hated. No. These Templars are different. I wish you could see that. But if you continue on your present course, you'll find you're the only one walking it. With the gallows. At its end. It may be. But now the world has one less snake in it. And that's enough for me.
Loose main sails! Call down and crew up! Crew up tops! Douse those mains! Captain, fancy to swim! Oh, I can wait. Need to disappear. You require my services? Business well concluded. Hey, friend. Want to go low profile? Is that pirate hunter dead? Aye, by my own hand. Why is it you alone can find what so many want? I was born with memories of this place. Memories of another time entirely, I think. Like a... 
Like another life I've already led. Curse you for a lurch, man, and speak some sense. Not today. After you, Captain. The path ahead is dangerous. The men native to this land will put up a fight. Are you willing to push back if necessary, huh? To kill if needed.
Stay close.
Is this the observatory? All this? Aye. An almost sacred place. All it needs is a drop of my blood. Roberts, have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this gate. But you... I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Now, pick up that chest and carry it hither. Dirty and decrepit. Not quite as I remember, but it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, oh, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. I must say I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Sensible. And punishable by death if disobeyed. Well, that's a step further than I'd go. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Like something out of a fairy tale, or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rumors and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials. Yes. These cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. The blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, 
but not in this epoch. Here we are. Place the chest just there. What's that noise? Ah, oh, yes. A security measure. Just a moment. There we are. So what is this place? Think of it as a large spyglass, such as we sailors carry. A device capable of seeing great distances. This is bloody witchcraft. No, this is Mr. Jack Rackham. Somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA? Well, this is happening right now? We're seeing through his eyes. I... I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh! I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. But you have to want it, and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Oi! Lad! That's my lass you're making love to! You lay off, or I'll catch ya. Up your ass, Rackham. Lad's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad! A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers. You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial drum of blood taken from the finger. That's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes, indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. For oh, such ambition. There is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role, but our partnership is done. You're a dead man, Roberts.
Jackdaws flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy? I'd be a suspect. It has to be someone they've already locked up. Hey, uh, uh, hey, you know you're supposed to be locked up, right? Going back upstairs ain't a good plan. All right, listen, I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there.
There's no need for you to be down here by yourself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hacker's broken. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for, even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scout's honor. Coffee's on me, okay? at the coffee stand. Find a server containing the network logs. Since I have a record of each and every one of your hacks, we'll just search for the timestamps on those and turn that data into something harmless. Easy as that. <laughs> Here we are. Beautiful. I'll update your communicator one more time. A little program I cooked up just for this purpose. There we go. I think that worked. Try it out. The dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bain, and Blackbeard? Cipher. Feel, but hardly touch. Signal is still too weak, and I am spread thin. Unfocused, like static and fog. Lingering in networks and nodes, the nervous system of the world. Can you hear? Perhaps the temple was opened too soon, but this was not by choice. The Cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond, who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on. To fulfill your purpose in ours, in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do. 
more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children, my instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! She should be here! Now! Living in that goddamned head of yours! Fuck, 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 fuck! Why did she spare you? Why are you still here?